Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you Aomi, Open Universal Machine Intelligence, on my ARM Rockchip RK3588 single board computer. So, from this system details, uh, you can see the Mali G610 GPU. It's using a Rockchip kernel. So, that's how you recognize the RK3588. As I said in my previous video, uh, I installed Aomi on an AMD 8845HS computer and I was using Ubuntu with Python 3.9.2 and installation was really simple. Now I tried the same on my ARM SBC, but there were a couple of challenges uh, because with the Ubuntu version uh, that I have, uh, the Python version is 3.12. So I installed uh, Python 3.10.16 with PyEnv and I've set it globally so you can see that I'm using Python 3.10.16 now when I wanted to install Aomi with just pip install Aomi I got an error message that Torch data was not the correct version. Uh, it wants to have 0 0.9.0 0, uh, or newer, but not higher than 0 0.10. Now, I was able to compile a 0 0.9 version, but for some reason, it wasn't recognized as the correct version. So I yeah, just received the same error, not the correct version for Torch data. Now you can build Torch data yourself. Um, so you can just uh, get the code from GitHub and uh, can just compile it from source but the trick is that uh, I think yeah, it looks like that they are already on 0 0.11 but you need to have 0 0.9 so what I did was I looked at the releases And then 0 0.9 was released 22nd of October. Um, now I'm not really sure if you can really get it like this. So, but what I did was um, I cloned the repository, I went back to the date of, well, I just picked the 1st of September 2024 and compiled that version. And then it looks like this. But I was still getting an error message about it, wrong version. So, well, as I learned here, you can compile uh, from the GitHub repository, so that's also what I did with Aomi. And then I did a bit of a dirty trick. I just commented out the check for Torch data. Now, um, I have some performance issues with Aomi 
on my ARM SBC. I'm not really sure if it's because of this or that, that to me it feels as if it's not using vector instructions. Uh, I mean, like, there is an MPU, but I wasn't expecting Aomi to uh, make use of this specific MPU. Uh, but yeah, to me, the performance feels as if it's not using vector instructions and on ARM vectors are also called SIMD, single instruction, multiple data. Um, yeah, so what I did was uh, I cloned the Aomi repository and then when you're in this directory, just pip install uh, dot and you have to comment out the uh, check for torch data version. And then I finally got it working. Uh, like I said, it's, it's very slow. So, um, yeah, what I also noticed is that when you uh, clone the repository, uh, you get the uh, recipes. So that saves you a bit of time. Um, yes. So this is from the quick start. Now I did change uh, this to 256. Someone on Blue Sky mentioned that this is uh, what controls the length of the answer. Um, I will only show you a very little test because it's really, really slow. So let's just say we say hello and then keep in mind this is only a 135 million parameter model file so it should have been instantly that it would respond to hello but as you can see this is taking quite some time and uh, yeah I did ask what is the meaning of life and yeah if you have seen my previous video then it would already cut off somewhere here now you can see that it gets a lot further but it still gets cut off so perhaps uh, 512 is uh, even better but this really took like several minutes before i actually got this answer so there's a performance issue um, I'm not really sure if it's because what I did with torch data uh, I have the suspicion that's not the issue uh, like I said I have the suspicion that it's not using vector instructions so but since I'm not really a developer then uh, yeah I don't know how to check if my suspicion is correct or not uh, well, the good part is, is that I got it running on ARM. But the performance is uh, very low at the moment. So, yeah, hopefully uh, my suspicion is correct and that they will uh, make the changes so that it will use factor instructions, assuming that is the issue. Um, yeah, like I said, the performance is very low, so I'm not going to show you anything else. Um, also going to try it on my RISC-V single board computer. Uh, yeah, if it's just the same fix that I did here, then I'm not going to make a video about it, but I'll just make a post on Blue Sky and I'll probably uh, post it on Reddit. So. This is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.